Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly tarot reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is for the week of January 29th through February 4th. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever might come through during our time together today. All right. Uh, I am merely the messenger. Uh, I ask you to connect directly with the cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond just what I'm telling you, okay? Uh, remember that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And here we have the Ace of Wands. Very strong, strong energy to start us off with. I feel like you are someone with a lot of ideas, a lot of plans, a lot of fire in you. I think we're we're ready to go with something here, but let's do the rest of our Dove and Serpent spread. We've got a lot of court cards here today, a lot of uh, a lot of air energy. So let me let me do our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. We're going to use the antique. Oh no, we're going to use the um, yeah the antique Italian. That's what we're going to use. Almost forgot the name of it. It's been pre-shuffled. We're going to take one card randomly from somewhere in the middle. No peeking now. We're not going to look at that until the end. And hopefully that will, um, you know, tie the reading together and give us the confirmation that we're looking for, right? Reveal the, the final mystery of things. So we've got air, some major, air, major, air, air, water, fire, another major. So it seems we're a little heavy on the air today. So I think there's some kind of a communication issue going on here. There's something that maybe in a relationship that you're in or some kind of a connection that you have with someone, right? And I don't know that this is really a, an emotional connection or like a romantic connection because there's not a lot of water cards here. There's some water, not the right kind of water, not that kind of water. Anyway, um, you're someone that definitely has a lot of plans, a lot of ambition, a lot of fire, a lot of energy, right? I feel like you're just someone with a really strong drive, right? Um, both creatively and, you know, let's say sexually and, uh, and career related, just really ambitious, really like, really fired up, okay? You're somebody that really is like, is activated right now. And I think you're, you're very much focused on how to move forward, how to progress, how to get the things you want in life, right? We've got the ace here. So this is still, it's kind of a unified energy. It's like all of your forces are consolidated. You've done the work to bring everything together and it hasn't yet dispersed, right? So you're still maybe deciding on where to put all of this really strong energy, where to put all of your power, right? What is it that you're gonna focus on? Where is this all headed for you? So um, it's like that the, the initial, you know, the fire has been built and we, we just don't know where we're going to take it now, okay? We don't know what area of life to focus on or, or how to bring all of this fiery unity to some real production, right? We don't have a lot of earth cards here, so I think that's kind of part of the, the issue here is kind of what to do with this energy, right? What to do with this vitality. Um, Let's look at some other cards and see if we can find out a little bit about what's going on. But I feel a real intensity with you this week. Um, I don't know if you just kind of wake up one morning and you're just like really just fired up, you know. But something has really lit a fire in you. And it could be through the spiritual work that you've been doing. It could be through this situation that we see with, I don't know if it's a water sign person or an air sign person. But we're going to, first we're going to explore this water sign person. It feels like this person is someone that, um, someone looking out for you. Um, it could be a, a mother figure, grandmother, um, older sibling, an aunt, something like that. I feel an older feminine energy around you. And they are in some ways, um, it, it seems like they should be encouraging you, but it feels to me like they're kind of trying to tell you to quiet down a little bit because, uh, and I promise you we're getting that overhead camera really soon. But what it looks like to me was that this, I've got it the wrong way here, this fiery ace of wands was being kind of covered and smothered a little bit by this water energy, 
Okay, so you have all of this ambition, all of this enthusiasm and power and confidence, and you're just like, you've consolidated all of your forces and you're ready to start marching out. But this water sign person is here kind of smothering you a little bit, being too overbearing, maybe micromanaging a little bit. Um, could be trying to calm you down, trying to lessen your enthusiasm. And I don't think it's through any kind of malicious intent. I think they just don't want to see you get hurt or to put all of your eggs in one basket or to burn yourself out, anything like that. You know, they're trying to protect you, but in a way that feels to me a little overprotective. Okay. And I don't know who this person is in your life. I'm getting the older feminine vibe but I don't know for sure. They might not be a water sign, but they definitely have this kind of uh, older feminine energy that's kind of smothering, kind of overprotective. Okay, and that's the water energy that's trying to kind of uh, douse those flames a little bit, right? I'm trying to see if there's anything else about that person that's coming through, but I'm having a hard time really discerning who they are. I wonder if it's a mom or a grandma. It's kind of the, the vibe that I'm getting. Or it's somebody that is acting that way. They might not be, you know, they might not be actually related to you. It could be, I mean, it could be a romantic partner. It could be a friend or something too. But they have this overbearing, overprotective, smothering kind of energy right now. And I think you're noticing it more because you feel so fired up because you have such a strong flame that you're now you're able to kind of see, hey, this person's kind of trying to like cramp my style a little bit, trying to like temper my energy. And I don't know why that is. Let's look at the recent past. Okay. Recent past, we have this princess of swords. I wonder if you've gotten into some trouble in the past. Um, I wonder if there hasn't been an event <clears throat> excuse me, in the recent past few years, maybe, where you had the same kind of fiery energy and you put all of your focus into one thing. You took all of this fire, all of your resources, all of yourself, you put it into something 199%. All into something. And maybe it got you in trouble. Maybe um, you made some missteps. There's been some mistakes. Uh, all you know, the decisions weren't all uh, well thought out or something, right? I see with the princess here that it's kind of um, it's kind of an innocent or naive kind of energy, where you really thought maybe that you were doing the absolute right thing, and this was absolutely 100% what you're supposed to be doing, but it didn't quite work out. And maybe you got a little, a little hurt by it, you know, because things didn't quite work out the right way. But anyway, this is the past. This, I think, is um, a similar situation to right now that didn't work out so well. And that might be why this, we'll call this the maternal figure, why this maternal figure is kind of trying to protect you now. Because maybe they don't want to see you go down that same road again and make that same mistake or they see the same kind of, of signs. You're getting really fired up about something. It's all you're talking about, all you're thinking about. And um, so they're, they're feeling like it's their responsibility to kind of uh, keep you out of trouble a little bit. Okay. Um, speaking of trouble, we've got the Seven of Cups here above everything. This is your, this is your tendency to really indulge in things. To really, um, I'm trying to, trying to word this right because I don't want to be offensive or anything. This is going to be a good reading, okay? I promise you. Um, but there are things about ourselves that we have to kind of accept, and I think that this card might represent you seeing things through maybe some rose-colored glasses, thinking something is the absolute perfect opportunity, the perfect thing for you, and and it, it motivates you to put all of your eggs in that basket, right? All of your fire is, is going towards this thing. But it turns out to not really be what it appears to be. The closer you get, you start to see that this, this tree is not the really beautiful, fruitful tree that we were hoping for, you know? 
So I don't know if this is a relationship, if this is a career change, if this is something that you're committing to. Um, again, it doesn't really feel romantic to me. So I don't know what this is that you're really, um, you know, moving towards, or if it's just this feeling that you you need to, or that you're you're going to. But maybe you you don't really know the exact kind of destination yet. But this card is talking about this the tendency for us to really indulge in the things that we enjoy, not realizing that there might be a little bit of a detrimental aspect, a little bit of a harmful aspect to it. You know, kind of an overindulgence. We, we tend to overdo things that we enjoy. And we don't real, realize that we're, we're doing ourselves a little bit of a disservice because in the moment, immersed in those those impressions, those feelings, those sensations, we, we don't all, always see it clearly. Okay, and that's kind of the rose-colored thing. We see that, oh, this is, this is perfect. But nothing is perfect, and so we have, to, um, we have to be honest with what this picture really looks like, you know. But I think there's this tendency. Anyway, the point was that um, I think you do have a, a tendency to get really deeply involved in things um, that seem just wonderful and terrific and pleasurable and maybe going a little too far with it, you know, going a little bit too extreme with it where it starts to have kind of a detrimental effect on you, you know. Um, but I think also with this card, this is the idea that, yeah, you might go to extremes in your life, but there is a point where you do kind of recognize and you can, you can see through the illusion of it and you always find your way back, you know? I think you have a very intense personality. I think you have a, a really a deep drive for, uh, for experience, for impressions and sensations. And, you know, I think you really go deeply into things, um, which may worry this maternal figure, you know, where they feel they have to protect you and pull you back, even though there, there is a point where you you know how far to take things in your life, you know. There comes a point where you do see things clearly, you see through the illusion, and you find your way back, okay. But that maternal figure, they don't like to see you go to the extreme. They want to kind of um, pull you back or caution you before you get too deeply into things, you know. Um, especially if there's kind of a, a history of these kinds of things happening. All right. And I think this is very much in line with Pisces. I think Pisces people are like this. Um, I think Pisces people find something that they like, something that they enjoy, and they go to the depths. They just, they have this intensity about them. At least in my experience from doing these readings, there's always a, a really intense vibe with Pisces that almost like can scare the people around them. But I think as the people around you, we have to just trust you that you're going to, you know, that you know what you're doing, right? And I think that's what we have to convince this mother figure, this maternal energy about, that you know what you're doing, right? Um, let's go to the immediate future. We have a four of swords here. I think that this maternal figure is going to learn to trust you. I think there's going to be this kind of mutual, mutual understanding and respect that uh, develops and it's probably through some very adult conversations and some very um, respectful and polite and, um, you know, really just respectful, I guess, is the word, uh, interactions and conversations with this person. And they will learn to trust you. They will see that you're a responsible person, that you know what you're doing. I don't know if it's even their place to be, you know, mothering you in this way. I don't know what kind of dynamic, you know, if, if they are a maternal figure to you or if it's just one of your friends that think they kind of know better. Whatever it is, I think a conversation needs to be had and there's going to be that understanding, that mutual respect, and, and uh, there's going to be trust all around, you know. It's kind of like this idea, well, look, I, I hear you, I respect your opinion. Also, I need to explore this for myself. I need to see where this path leads. But trust me, that I'll never go so far down that path that I can't see my way back home if I need to. I think that conversation needs to happen. Um, because as it is right now, you know, there, there's this, the air, the water, the other air, 
the water right in the middle. With this overhead camera, you can see what I'm looking at. All of these forces are kind of surrounding this central ace of wands and kind of closing in on it, you know, um, squashing it, squishing it down, containing it, restricting it, dousing it, smothering it, all of these things. And so the fire here is really kind of in danger. Right, This ambition, this enthusiasm, this passion that you have, this intensity that you have this week is kind of under attack by all of these other forces. Okay, And that could be not a good thing, right, to say the least. But let's go to the, the last card on the Path of the Dove. This is some major arcana energy, heavyweight forces. This is the Devil, the Capricorn card beneath the surface. This is really kind of, we've already kind of talked about this, but this is expanding upon your, your general energy, really. Uh, the vibe that you have this week, the energy that you have this week. Uh, it is this energy where you, you like to get lost in the wilderness, right? And we kind of talked about that with that seven of cups. This one here, you know, about how you kind of, you indulge, you go, you go deeply into things with such an intensity that it kind of worries the people around you a little bit, but we have to trust you. Um, this is some more of that energy. You really like to kind of get lost in the wilderness and see where you end up. You know, um, you have a very, you have a very strong instinct. You have a very strong, like survival instinct almost like it's kind of like you can just be thrown in any kind of rugged terrain and, eventually you'll be just like the master of it. You know what I mean? You'll have, you'll thrive. You'll have your shelter, your water, you'll have all, you know, everything that you need. You'll just find a way to just, just harmonize, just resonate with whatever environment that you're in. And it's because you have a strong connection to your instincts, right? You have a really strong, um, just like a, like a sixth sense about, um, about your environment really about the path that you're going down. And again, it's this kind of intensity, you'll always know when to come back home. You know, it'll never get so deep into something that you are just lost in that illusion. You'll always be able to see through, you know, the illusion and, and the um, being immersed in the sensations and the impressions and the feelings and stuff. You'll still have the sixth sense that doesn't get uh, diluted in all of those impressions, you know? And this is the kind of uh, independent vibe that you have as well. I think you you don't like people telling you what you can, but especially what you cannot do. You don't like people saying, no, you shouldn't do that. You can't do that. That's too much. That's not right. You don't like hearing the no, you know, or the, the you can't because you're an adult. You, this is your life. Uh, I don't think this maternal figure has guardianship over you. I think you're an independent uh, entity. And it uh, rather offends you when people try to tell you what you should or should not do, what you can or cannot do, what you're not capable of doing, or that they don't trust you to take care of yourself. You know what I mean? So whatever this situation is, whatever this energy that you have this week, whatever the opportunity is or the, the path that you're, you're trying to go down, um, I don't think anyone is going to be able to stop you from going down that road. Uh, but to avoid the conflict, to, to avoid some of this mess here, I think it's best to have that responsible and respectful conversation about trust, put everyone's mind at ease, and that I think will satisfy this devil in you that wants to go explore and get lost, um, knowing that you'll find your way home if you need to. I keep saying that because that's the important part here. Anyone can go and get lost, right? It's, it's easy to get lost. It's not so easy to thrive. It's not so easy to adapt to your environment or to find your way back home. And you know what I mean? Like that's where you really have some unique skills represented by this devil energy. Okay. And I think it's something that you like to do solo. You don't feel that you have to explain yourself to people, right? The goat here knows what it knows, doesn't feel the need to... Uh, to explain other people or convince them because you have that inner certainty. You have that confidence in yourself and trust 
in your spirit, in your universe, your spirit guides, God, goddess, deity, whatever it is that you believe in, you have faith and confidence in that and in yourself, you know. Let's go to the path of the serpent now. And before we do that, I just want to say that these tarot cards are always correct. I don't care who you are or what other readers you watch on YouTube or wherever. Um, the cards that come out of the deck are the cards that are meant for you. But sometimes as the messenger, as the interpreter, I can't always associate each card with your exact circumstances. So I ask you to connect directly with the images, connect directly with the energies, and use your own intuition to go beyond what I'm telling you. Okay. Path of the Serpent. Major Arcana card. The Chariot. I think you're, this is, you know, I think the, I think in this case, this devil card is who's driving that chariot, to be honest with you. Uh, I think that you are, like I said, very adaptable. You're very prepared for any, any situation that you, that you uh, get into. Okay. Now we had this past situation that I said didn't really work out too well. There may have been some missteps. Um, missteps in the eyes of everyone else. You might not feel that there were any missteps. You may, you may feel like that situation went exactly how it was supposed to. You know, even though there were some uncertainty, some unpredictable outcomes, you didn't know. There were variables, obviously, but it went exactly how it was supposed to go. You know, but other people may have seemed like, oh, it was a huge mistake and you've, you're suffering for it, but you may not look at it that way. With this chariot card, I also feel like you are always ready to be on the move. You're always ready for that next adventure, that next quest, that next fight, challenge, the next path, the next road to go down. And that's that devil energy driving the chariot, okay? But you're always prepared for that. You're always, um, you may find in your life that um, it's not a conscious thing with you. You may find that in any particular set of circumstances, somehow you always have exactly what you need with you. You know, it's like you're stuck in the forest somewhere and you just, you happen to have a book of matches with you. You never carry matches, but somehow you have that book of matches today. Okay. And yes, matches because of the ace of wands that we have. So it's just like you, you always find that you have exactly what you need when you need it, and it may not be like a conscious planning with you. It could be just some strange synchronicities where you always, you always have what you need when you need it, you know? So it's almost like there is this kind of unconscious, uh, this mysterious, um, unknown power or force that's guiding you, that's with you always, you know? And I think that that goes with this devil energy for sure could be that devil within you, in your spirit, that is, um, you know, unbeknownst to you, uh, anticipating and planning ahead for you, you know? And it may seem like just random, dumb luck coincidence, but it's not. It's not. Uh, also with the chariot card, this is you not wanting other people to tell you what you should or should not be doing. This is, again, the devil is driving this chariot. Um... <clears throat> You don't feel like you have to stick to the traditional path in life. And it could be that's what that maternal figure is, is expecting of you, to go down more traditional roads with your life, make more traditional or widely commonly accepted choices. But that's not you. You break the mold. You kind of, um, you, uh, you stray from tradition or from what is expected of you. And I think traditions are changing in the world in general. You know, our parents' generation, our parents' parents' generation, they had their own uh, kind of expectations of what was going on in life. But we're at, we're at such a crazy time in the world right now. Things are changing so fast. Things are changing so fast that I'm sure, you know, I'm not, I'm not a young man, but I'm not, you know, I'm not super old either, right? Somewhere in the middle. But I imagine, you know, in 10 or 15 years, Things are going to be so different that I'm not going to really, I'm not going to understand my, my daughter's choices. I have a young daughter. I'm not going to understand her choices. I may not even agree with her choices, but I have to support her in her choices. Okay? Because for one thing, I understand that what we call tradition or expectation 
is a spectrum. It's a it's an ever changing standard, you know. And so I, you can't even really call it a standard anymore. But anyway, that's the vibe I feel with you that you you don't feel like you you're bound to any kind of tradition or expectation, and you're trying to let your spirit guide you in your life. And that spirit is that ace of wands. Okay. Uh, we have here more air energy. This is another court card. This really could be related to this maternal figure. And this could be like their kind of, um, their active attempts to, uh, to worry about you, to communicate with you, to plead with you. Please don't, don't go there. Don't do that. Don't, don't marry that person, don't take that job, don't move to that place, or whatever it is, whatever it is. Uh, this is kind of, um, I feel that there's this, this frantic, worrisome energy about them where they're, they're kind of, um, it's, it's like a last ditch effort. It's like um, they're just trying to swoop in and try one last time to save you from yourself, right? And that just sounds terrible. I don't, I don't like that at all. Um, but again, I feel like the air energy is resolving with this four. And I think if we don't really do this, then this, um, this night of, of swords energy is going to be a little bit more, this is going to be a little bit more problematic if we don't try to, um, prevent that ahead of time with some of this four energy, this conversation, this trying to put everyone's mind at ease, having this kind of adult conversation, very respectful and polite and, you know, making everybody more comfortable. Um, I think if we don't do that, then this Knight of Swords is going to have even more of, a, of an upsetting effect to it, okay? And this is kind of the, the more frantic pleading, kind of like um, when you're about to walk out the door or something, just kind of rushing in and begging and, you know, that energy. We don't want that kind of energy. We don't want that kind of environment. So I think it's uh, it's better to have a conversation with people on their level, right? Respectful, polite, with phrases that they understand and, and really try to accommodate them, you know? Um, and yeah, maybe you shouldn't have to, maybe none of us should have to, but it's kind of a um, polite and considerate thing to do for people, right? Put their mind at ease a little bit, especially if this is, you know, this maternal figure that obviously cares a lot about you wants to see you succeed, wants you to not be hurt, not to have any kind of negative experiences. But, you know, it's your life. You're in control. You've got the energy here. Uh, <clears throat> the next card that we do see is this universe or world card. And this is part of your general energy, too. This is you really wanting to go and see the entire world, right? So I wonder if this isn't related to travel in some way, if you're, you're thinking about maybe... Um, moving overseas, traveling overseas, vacationing overseas, um, just going on like a walking tour of Europe or something, um, or going to university somewhere overseas. I'm getting kind of a, kind of a European vibe here. Um, <clears throat> but I think you have that kind of wanderlust. You have that kind of um, really like exploration vibe. You know, you want to see the world. You want to just go and get into things and just see what happens because I think you have this sixth sense for things. I think you know that there's something within you or around you or in the universe that is guiding you and helping you and protecting you. And not to say that you can't, you know, uh, succumb to some accident or God forbid it, you know, something negative happens. Of course, there's, there's always uncertainty, but at least you've got this connection with yourself, with your soul, with the universal energy, whatever, that um, is kind of helping you out a little bit, at least, you know. So you have this real drive, I think, to go and to explore and travel. And I'm getting the European vibe, you know, maybe not. Maybe, maybe it's just a general kind of, uh, a general desire in you to really go out and see the world, to have as many different kind of experiences as you can, you know. Maybe you haven't done this yet. Maybe this is a latent uh, impulse or desire in you that you've never explored. Maybe you've never left home. And maybe this maternal energy doesn't want you to. Because maybe the last time you tried, didn't quite work out, you came back. But now you still have this, this energy, this desire, this drive in you. That they don't want to, they don't want to see you go. 
But the final card on the Path of the Serpent is this Queen of Swords. Again, more air energy. I think this person's going to come to accept the situation. They're not going to like it. They're not going to agree with it. They're going to let you know they don't agree with it, but they're going to accept it. Because I think there's this kind of ceasefire, this mutual respect, this trust, they are going to learn that you are a responsible person, that you are um, responsible for yourself, that you can look out for yourself. So, you know, that's a good way to end things. It's not like the, um, the most uh, loving and supportive energy, right? There's not really... Not a lot of loving, supportive energy here, honestly. There's not a lot of water energy. We dealt with the little bit of water that there was. But there's nothing that really shows a tremendous acceptance or, or love or support of your decisions. They're going to accept it in the sense that um, they're going to stop actively trying to prevent it. You know, it's kind of they're going to agree to disagree. They're going to let you know, I don't agree with this, but you're your own person. Just take care of yourself, you know? So I feel like it's kind of this detachment where they're just, they're not going to actively support you, but they're going to try to really prevent themselves and, and restrain themselves from uh, trying to actively prevent you from, from doing this thing, travel, doing whatever this is, you know? And leave me some comments. Let me know kind of what it is that you are getting ready to do because I feel like it's something major. I feel like it is like a, like a world traveling kind of vibe or it's at least at that level of intensity, you know. Anyway, let's go to this mystery card, bonus card. I know we're getting a little long in these videos. Uh, what could this be? I don't know. I don't really want to speculate it. It's the four, uh, four of wands. Okay. Very beautiful card, antique. I keep saying antique and antique. The, um, the ancient Italian tarot deck is what that is. It's what the back of it looks like. Uh, one of my favorite decks as well. Um, so the Four of Wands kind of goes with this Four of Swords a little bit. I think the confirmation here is that whatever this kind of conflict is with this maternal figure, it's going to come to a nice conclusion. It's going to be, you're going to be able to leave or, or embark on this journey knowing that things are okay, things are settled at home, things are, things are, are nice, things are wrapped up, things are secure and balanced, stable, steady. Okay, you're not leaving on any kind of a bad note. You're not leaving with any kind of animosity or anger, anything like that. You know, again, they may not agree with what you're doing, but they're going to accept it to a certain point and things are going to be okay. Okay, so I think that this is like a good indication that you've wrapped up things at home. Now it's okay to go. You know, and I think this is the confirmation that, look, once you get things settled at home, then it's it's okay to go, and you can you can go with the confidence that things at home are going to be okay, that everybody is going to be fine. You know, you're not leaving on any kind of bad terms. Like, you know what I mean? So I think that's a really good confirmation, really simple, but to the point confirmation. Uh, anyway, we're going to take a look at this in the extended. If you want to access the extended readings, click on the link that's right up there, and you can see all the extended readings for all the videos that we do. Okay. This was your weekly tarot reading for January 29th through February 4th on Dove and Serpent Tarot.